you want to install mods in Minecraft, but it seems complicated? Don't worry, I will show you 4 ways you can install mods in Minecraft. First, a method that uses the original launcher, then a very easy and beginner friendly method, the most advanced method, and finally, how to install mods onto a server, so you can play them with your friends. Starting with the original Minecraft launcher, and how to install the mods onto there. First, you need a program that loads the mods into Minecraft, and for that there are two most popular choices, Fabric or Forge. I recommend using Fabric, since I have personally used it, and it is more optimized. For that, go to fabricmc.net, click on download, and click on download for Windows. Open up the installer, and here you can choose the Minecraft version where you want to install your mods to. I'm going to leave it at the latest 1.21 version. Unless your mod requires it, keep it at the latest loader version, and the launcher location should be automatically correct too. Then just press install, and ok. Now the fabric mod loader is installed, and it is time to download mods. For that again you have two choices. Curse Forge or Modrint, both of them are great, but you may find some mods on one of them, but not the other. And for example, most mod packs are only on the Curse Forge website. But for this example, I will use the modrint.com website. Here we can go to mods and browse them by most downloaded ones, categories, or search for a mod, like the Xeros world map, which I am going to install in this example. Click on the mod, and here on the side, you need to choose the correct version. Since we installed Fabric for 1.21, this is the correct one. From here, just click and click on download. Also below here, it shows the dependencies, so the mods that are required to have to run this mod, and what mods are optional. The Fabric API is required for 99% of Fabric mods, so I will also download that. Now that we have the two mods downloaded as files, open up your Windows search and search for percentage app data percentage. Then click enter and a new folder will open. From here, open the .minecraft folder and then open the mods folder. Into this folder, you need to drag the mods that you just downloaded. For me, I had them in the downloads folder, so I will simply copy them from there. You can close this and start up your Minecraft launcher. From the installation selection, you should see a new one, called the Fabric Launcher. Select that and launch your game. And you are done! The mods are manually installed into Minecraft, and you can start playing. But there is a much easier way you can download and install mods that I would recommend to most people. It's the Curse Forge or Modrent app. But I would especially recommend the Curse Forge one because it has more mods and especially mod packs. For that, go to curseforge.com, click on the top right, get curseforge app, and download it as a standalone app. Once you have installed the app and started it up, click on Minecraft, and then select the standard modding folder. Now on to creating a custom profile. Here you can choose the profile name, but most importantly, choose the game version, which I'm going to leave at 1.21. Then you can choose the mod loader that you want to use. I will choose fabric while leaving the loader version like it is. And finally press create. Now from the top just go to browse, then tap and choose mods, and from here choose the mods that you would like to try out. I will search again for the Xeros world map. Then simply click install, select the profile that you just made, but if you can't select the profile you just made, then there is this question mark that shows you why you can't install the mod on this profile. But in some cases like this, go to the actual mod and select versions. Here we can see it has the fabric version 1.21 available, so you need to click install from here. Select our profile again and boom, the mod is successfully installed. And you can install as many mods as you would like onto your profile. And to play, simply press play and it automatically opens up Minecraft, along with all of your mods. And using CurseForge, you can even install mod packs, which will create a separate profile. But it's just so easy. Click install, and two minutes later, you can start playing. And if you want, you can create multiple profiles. For example, you can have vanilla Minecraft, 
with some performance boosting mods and another minecraft with all kinds of crazy mods and stuff that you don't want to use when playing vanilla. This whole app experience will make your mod installation so much smoother, so I highly recommend it. But there are some downsides, with the app you don't have full control over all the settings, and there are some ads on the side, which some people hate. So that brings us to the next method, which is an even better way to install mods, and it is called the Prism Launcher. I often see it recommended by the modding community, and it brings you all the great features. I personally have used MultiMC for years, and the Prism Launcher is a fork of MultiMC, but with more features. So go to prismlauncher.org and download the launcher from here. Install the Prism Launcher and start it up. Then click on Add Instance. From here you can choose the Minecraft version and the version of mod loader you want to use. I'm choosing the latest 1.21 and fabric to load my mods. Now once that is done and to actually add mods, select your instance and press edit from the side. Then go to the mods tab. From here press download mods and now you can use both modrint and curseforge where you can search for any mods. When you have found the mod that you want to install, press select mod for download. Then review and confirm, and here just press OK. The launcher automatically installs everything you need to make this mod work. Now you can close this and launch the instance. And that's done, the mod is installed and working. Mod packs can also be installed here by going on Add Instance and selecting a site where you want to get your mod pack from. It's really simple actually. And the same way, like on the CurseForge app, we can have multiple instances of Minecraft here with each having different amount of mods. And for advanced users, you have the option to edit all sorts of settings for each Minecraft instance. I think now you can see why people love the Prism Launcher so much, and I like it too. Now you have mods installed on the single player client, but what if you want to start a multiplayer world? This is the easiest step ever when you use our Minecraft hosting site Wise Hosting. It's just important to remember that the same exact mods or mod pack you have on your single player client, you need to have on the server as well, and then it will work perfectly. So after you have bought yourself a server from Wise Hosting, then simply access our brand new game panel and head to the version tab. From here, choose what version and mod loader you want to use. I'm choosing Fabric for 1.21. And if you choose Fabric, make sure to tick the box to install Fabric API, because most of the mods need it anyways. After that's done, go to the Add-ons tab and choose Mods. From here, you can search for any mods. We have both CurseForge and Modrint available, and you can pre-select what version you need the mod for, or sort by different options. Once you have found the mod you want to install, just click on the huge blue install button and install either an older version or I will install the latest one. Remember to always check the mod's original page to see if it also requires any other mods to run it. But if you want to install mod packs through Wise Hosting, then simply go to version tab and then mod packs. Here we have a huge selection from CurseForge, Modrint or Feed the Beast. Simply select the one you like and install it. And if you have a server on Wise Hosting and have any problems with your mods or mod packs, then you always have the option to reach out to our support, which is free and 24 7. And they will help you fix any problems you have. And all the viewers of this video can use the special discount code MODS to get 25% off from your first month on Wise Hosting. That is a great deal, and also the end of this video.